lecture, I am not going to give you a lecture. Uh, I would like to invite you to my room. And first of all, uh, it's a big pleasure to be here again. I was 15 years ago. And at the F Polish Film Festival. <coughs> and, uh, well, it's difficult to say anything uh, before the screening. But I hope we could meet after after the screening and exchange uh, our opinions. Uh, so enjoy the film, and I hope you will you will have after the screening also some reflections. Thank you. Poczekaj na mnie w kościele na przeciwko, dobrze? Zaprowadzi mnie pani do mamy. Niemcy zabrali część ludzi i wywieźli. A mama? Mamy też. But to start things off, uh, Ursula Lubelska won Best Actress Honors at the Polish Film Awards for this very raw, very challenging performance. And when her head is shaved by the underground she bears, very striking news at once to uh, Maria Falconetti and Carl Theodore Dreyer's The Passion of Joan of Arc. And I was curious how, how deliberate that was. <coughs> Uh, yes, I, I was I was interested um, in in Ursula's performance, um, particularly because she's she's so wonderful. And if you could talk a little bit about that. Uh, first of uh, first of all, uh, she uh, she was also uh, awarded a main uh, prize uh, the, the woman for the woman character uh, at the International Film Festival in Moscow just a few months ago. Uh, well, it was done, of course, uh, for, pur for purpose. It was natural. Uh, if I uh, well understood, uh, you are asking uh, how it was done. Yes, if it was uh, yes. done uh, really, or it was uh, artificial hairs or something like that, yes. Uh, no, no, that, uh, there was hair and hair. Uh, we didn't want to, to make, uh, to give her artificial hair, how to, how to call it in English, you know. <laughs> yes. And, uh, well, uh, finally I wanted uh, to, to, to give her, uh, but she didn't agree because uh, she, she wanted to play it really uh, itself, you know. And so nothing artificial was it. It's, it's quite a performance, as is the performance from the little girl, uh, Sarah Not is, is that her name? The Sarah. 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 Mm -hmm. She goes from being protected to a caretaker herself of Johanna, and she, she sort of straddles um, two worlds there. So I was wondering also what the casting process was like for, for Sarah, how many little girls you saw? Well, actually, no, not many. About 40, perhaps 50, usually uh, in, in, on the casting uh, are coming more, you know, sometimes 1,000. You know. But uh, uh, I wanted specific, uh, um, uh, specific, specific face, you know, Jewish face. So, uh, as you know, we don't have many Jewish in Poland now, so. Uh, it was very difficult to find this kind of girl. Uh, and uh, actually, I, I, I chose uh, one, another one, a little bit older than this one. She was six years old, so it was very, very little. And uh, about just, uh, just a week before the shooting, uh, her mother didn't agree. I mean, the, the previous one. So we have uh, very quickly to decide who is, uh, who is going to take this uh, uh, role. 
And I even forgot that there was this girl, the girl uh, Sarah. And my assistant remembered that there was uh, such a girl and she reminded me and we we started again some rehearsals with her and I was very afraid, really, if, if she would stand it. But uh, and actually there were very difficult, uh, it was very difficult work with her, as usually with uh, a small child. You know, they are exhausted, they, they exhaust very quickly. They can work practically only four hours a day. And uh, so it was difficult, but finally, fi finally, as you, as you saw, well, she, she succeeded. How aware was she? How directed was she? Did she, she know the overarching narrative of the film, or was it scene by scene? How acquainted was she with the film? Yeah, yes, the, the, the. Yes, of course. She, uh, she, uh, she knew, she knew the script. She, she didn't understand, uh, understand much, of course, uh, about war, about conflict. Uh, but she is very talented. She has very good memory. She remembered uh, uh, her dialogue as well as dialogue of main character. So. <laughs> So uh, 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 we had we had also someone who took care of her, some uh, actress who uh, rehearsed with her one uh, just after the shooting, and uh, she, uh, this woman was all the time uh, uh, on the set and help us to, to prepare uh, your otherwise it would be really very difficult, much more. The overall look of the film, the, the color palettes are, are rather stunning. So I was wondering if you could also talk about sort of the collaborative process with the cinematographer, whose name, if I pronounce it, I'll completely butcher it. Yes. <laughs> um, he's, it's, it's wonderful. Did you? Did you work closely with him? Did you know exactly the, the look and, and the tone palette that he wanted, or did it develop organically? Well, I, I suggested him. I suggested him that we should uh, uh, to make color something uh, different than usually are made in this kind of films. I mean, uh, about war, about Holocaust, and so uh, Not exactly black and white, and not color. And we tried it, uh, and finally we, we find uh, this, uh, this, this color, uh, something, in the, in something in the middle. And uh, after, after that, it was during the shooting already, uh, he uh, this color was made during the shooting, but then uh, there was uh, after after uh, production, post production, post production was of course uh, electronically uh, improved much more. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Um, I, I appreciate it, and thank you to all of you.